guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. For those of you that are new, my name is Anna. So this is part one of a really fun video that I'm putting together for you guys. Um, it's going to take us a couple of months to get this done because of timing. But I wanted to get this video out to get you guys excited for this upcoming video. I was so excited when a subscriber, now friend, reached out to me and asked for some help with her master bedroom. Now I want to start off and tell you that I am not a professional designer. I have never claimed to be a professional designer. I just love design in its total. I love everything about it. To be given this opportunity to use what I've learned in somebody else's home, is super special to me. So in part one, you're just going to get to meet um, Sherry and um, you're going to hear how we talk and I'm going to show you how what she says in our conversation transferred into how I came up with the design that I came up with. I was so excited. She didn't know this, but while I was talking to her, my brain was just on fire. It was moving, moving, moving. And I was coming up with so many ideas just standing in her room. Um, and I, I'm just so excited. But to come up with a plan for like the base pieces and to kick off the design is super, super fun. We had a very, very good day. We visited for a while and um, went upstairs to her room. We talked design. Um, and she gave me a tour of her home. Her husband is lovely, sat down and spoke with him. They're just really good people and um, I'm just so excited to, to have connected with her and now made friends. And so after our visit, I said, well, let me take you to our local antique shop. And so I took her to our, uh, a mall, an antique mall near us. And um, and then we went and had, or we went and had some lunch first, and then the antique mall, and then we came home because I was tired. Um, but we had a whole day together. It went by really quick. I think she'll tell you that. I got to her house right before 10 a.m., and I didn't get home until I think after four. So it was a really good visit and a really nice day, and it went by very quickly, like I said. So looking forward to hanging out with her a lot. Super excited to put this room together and share it with you guys. So. Let's go ahead and jump into meeting Sherry. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. For those of you that are new, my name is Anna, and you can probably tell I'm not at home. I had mentioned in an earlier video that I was gonna help a subscriber, now friend, with yes. her bedroom, and so, or with a room in her home. So we are here at her house. Get over here, Sherry, I'm gonna introduce you. This is Sherry, one of my Ooh. longtime subscribers. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so we're in her master bedroom. She just moved to Middle Tennessee from California. So she followed a year behind me. Right. Almost exactly a year exactly behind her. Yes. yes. And so um, just like what all of us when we move, we kind of find ourselves a little lost with areas of the room. And so we were just sitting here talking about some of her likes and dislikes and She's just at a loss. So I'm going to help and see if we can like bridge that gap and turn her master bedroom into a resort. A masterpiece. A masterpiece. I love that. <laughs> so I'm going to give you guys a look around, just show you what it looks like now. And then we're just going to kind of talk through the process us over here and you guys can listen on how we're going to um, come about maybe a design yeah. of some sort. Yeah. So now my question to you is... Mm -hmm. You're, you want to use this. Will you be taking this off at night? So yes. Just be, okay. Yes. I do the same thing. Yeah, because it weighs a ton. Okay. But you're going to get rid of this. We're going to take this is going. This is going to go. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you think of your bed, what are you thinking as far as, do you want your bed all neutral? Do you want to add some color to the bed? I'm also? not opposed to color, and I do like, like the darker reds, the um, more neutral, like earthy tones. Okay. Like Mexican pottery. Okay. Colors. I, I love that. Love that. Okay. Like I would marry that. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. I um, True California girl right there. Yeah, yeah, I am. I have like a whole collection of Mexican yes. pottery in the garage. Yeah. So I have, this is what I envision for what I love. This part of my bed right here. I like okay. foofy and light. Love it. Comfortable, like I want to wake up going, 
I know. Where yeah. I don't want to get up out of the bed. Yeah. I hear you. 100%. But I do. So. Now, as far as wall color goes, I know you mentioned that you have blue on the walls in California, but yeah. you want to steer away from that. I do. And I actually have, um, I, I like almost like a, oh, it's just, I know beige is kind of beige, but I like, I want a very soft, like a beige. Yeah. Know saying the word beige because everybody does beige but I love like I want it to be warm without being like gotcha. you know okay does that make sense yeah yeah no totally don't you you want color on the wall I do I don't want it but to you be, don't want it to be stark white no and this is a very big white box yeah thing. I hear you I'm okay with the crown staying white. Oh, the crown is gorgeous. Yeah, I want the crown to stay white. And um, it'll really pop with yeah. any color, even if I, you I think so, too. Yeah, it'll I think really so pop. Too. And then you said you're going to get new nightstands. I would like to Eventually. get new nightstands. Yeah, these were actually a part of... My grandmother had a dressing table okay. that had the big round mirror, and it was kind of falling apart. It got termites. <laughs> What? So these were the ends. <laughs> these are the ends. I thought they looked familiar. Yeah, so these are the ends. So okay. Glenn salvaged these for me. And love that. we painted them black and they have been worn with love over time. So Well, okay, and then as so, far as lighting goes. I see you guys have your Bibles out, so you read your Bibles in bed? Um I, sometimes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Glenn does. So I, is lighting yeah. lighting um I, mean, I really wanted lamps. You want lamps. I do want lamps. You're, you don't want anything attached to the wall. I'm not opposed to that. Okay. I, mean, I, have, I have my cat. But oh. With me, one's like. <laughs> it's like having a newborn. It is. It oh is kind of like that. Except for she plays in the middle of the night with just obnoxious. Is this not beautiful? It's like it's like ticking. It's like the it ticking. It is. Like a yeah. ticking. Yeah. It's really pretty, really thick and heavy. Her hubby bought it for her. Yeah. Love it. So. So you're saying, so you have Mexican pottery? I do. I have some downstairs in the cupboard. I need to wash this. Just so I'm, I'm wondering if we keep the bed neutral mm -hmm. and we find, all right, all right, do you want to paint? I do. Okay. Um, we need, that means we have to go shopping for paint colors. I know. Darn it. So sad. <laughs> what a horrible <laughs> thing. What a drag. Um, <laughs> because... This is the lovely part about your room, though, is we can select a bunch of different colors mm -hmm. that you like, or you might only like two. Right. Bring them and do the samples, the samples and let you yeah. live with them for a and, minute. Right. And then the bed, the, this to me is the easy part. Yeah. Are you opposed to using that as a nightstand? Um, I think it's a little too tall because I would be going like this. I mean, it's pretty tall compared okay. to the bed. Um, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not married to those. I love them and I'll keep them, but I won't. I okay. don't have to use them. Um, I don't know. I mean, if we went, you know, like an antique store or something and found something, oh my gosh, yeah. man, look at this. So your bed is I mean, really neutral because, so then right. I'm thinking if you're, if, and you want, and curtains, do you want curtains? I, I don't. Okay. And the reason I don't is because I have a cat. So I don't want to even have to worry about Got that. It. And I find with that, I usually have my blinds wide open Got because it. she likes to get up in the window. Okay. So I got it. Sniper. Okay. Okay. And what about plants? I love plants. Okay. So, and this is and new for me because well I here. have carpet. Okay. And I've never, I've always had hardwood floor in my bedroom. Okay. So I'm so afraid of anything spilling on this carpet. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dump water on yeah. It. Yeah. So, I um I do have the faux plant right now just because yeah. I needed something in here. I wanted yeah, to bring something it. Bring. it. I do have a beautiful uh, burrow's tail okay. um, succulent that's downstairs that I want to move up here. Okay. They don't want it where my cat can get to it because I want to eat it. That's right. So that's another thing. See, I've never had to deal with cats before, uh, so I don't, I don't know all the ins and outs of what she's you should, old, shouldn't have. So I, yeah. I just kind of go because I don't that. know how how you feel about Azizi, but Azizi doesn't need to be watered that often and not a lot of water. Yeah, no, I'm, um, I'm fine with that. So Azizi, I think, would be a good solution for you because they're big and beautiful and right. they're going to be the green that you want, and you don't have to worry about too much water. Right. 
You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I love plants. I actually brought my plants from California. Love it. And I am so happy that they survived. That's awesome. I think that, um, well, your furniture, aside from the nightstands, you've got that when you're bringing the desk up. The desk. And then I do have one more piece. I have my mom's uh, cedar chest. Wow. So I want to, it's, it's a little, it's mid-century modern. So okay. it's not exactly like this style, but I don't care. Who cares? I love it. It it's was collective. my mom's. And I thought I could maybe put that under the window. Oh. So, and I could, you know, that might look better than, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So, that's for the cat. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's got to get up in the window and chill. Yeah, well. <laughs> so, yeah. you know. And I can sit on it and put my shoes on. True. Which is nice. True. You know. And I thought about putting a chair in here, but once again, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you end up wanting a chair, there's nothing wrong with having a little chair over here and table. I just, a chair and a table. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get the wood piece, maybe. Yeah, that would you be can nice. find it, you know, maybe yeah. like an antique wood chair right. with like a little cushion on it yeah. or something. I mean, it'd be nice to have. Yeah, it would, would be nice in the corner or over there. Be nice over there, yeah. And as far as artwork goes, what do you have to do with it? I have all kinds of stuff downstairs um, that I don't know. I'm not opposed to getting something new. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is going to take a while, but I. Yes. here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you're a very collected girl. I am. And you love your stuff. I and do. I love that about you, Sherry, because I am trying so hard to get my house to look collected. Your house does look collected. Oh, it's you beautiful. have the most beautiful things. And this is the stuff I need to start investing in. And uh, I think it's going to be really easy to make this bedroom. And this is just thrown together up here. This well, is it doesn't not, work I like that. No, I would not. I mean, I love that little blue. What is the, that? The little picture. Oh. Yeah, I think it was maybe a sugar can. I don't know. I love a it. A little vase. Arena it. in it. Look at that. Can open it. There we go. Oh my goodness. Hmm. That reminds me of my mom. She had one like that. Yeah. I love Sherry so much. Her and Glenn are just amazing people. I have yet to meet her children. Hopefully get to meet them this week. We are going to be finishing up the room. And um, I'll be sharing that with you guys uh, really soon. But this was just a really fun day of just really getting to know Sherry. She doesn't give herself enough credit, as most of you guys don't. Um, she has an eye. She. What I love about her collection of furniture and um, items is that they all have stories and when you can attach a story to an item or you have sentimental feelings to an item then it makes it even that much more special and um, that is what I love about her home so when we do her room her home will feel instant her bedroom will feel instantly collected and it may feel I'm hoping that her room will feel um, like it's been this way for a long time. Now, Glenn painted. Sherry um, worked with her dad at his tax firm in California. So she went back for a couple of months to go finish up a tax, the last tax season. I guess her dad is closing. So we had a couple of months in between um, these two videos. And so this was obviously filmed a while ago because my hair is different. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, Glenn painted um, the bedroom. They, they chose the color and he got the room painted while she was gone. And I came home and put together a collage, which I'll share in just a minute, and uh, sent it to her for her approval. And I wanted to make sure that I got it right that I really listened to her and heard what she was saying and so I worked on that sent it over to her she loved it I sent her links to everything and um, I believe she purchased a good portion of it so that had been coming in over the time that we you know were uh, not working together because she was in California so it worked out perfectly, actually, to do this in two parts, to really um, get to know her, the space, what she was thinking as far as colors go. Um, and, oh, just it's just going to be so much fun pulling this all together and showing you guys I cannot wait. Um, I am going over there to pull it together or begin to pull it together. I don't know if we'll be able to do it in one day. 
um, the day after I am doing this voiceover, so I'm super excited. Um, and obviously that will be the next video you guys will see. So this is just part one, but she has a very distinct style and it's a very collected style. Like I said, a lot of her items are uh, items that were passed down to her or had special meaning to her. So it was a little intimidating to um, breach that because you know, she has a lot of beautiful antiques, a lot of beautiful pieces, and I wasn't really sure how she was going to feel about incorporating newer items, and so that made me really happy. She did order a piece of art. We are hoping that the art arrives prior to pulling the room together, um, so fingers crossed, because <laughs> I would really like to, um, you know, to, to share it in its totality, so... Um, anyways, we do have a couple of things that we are not going to be able to do, which is window treatments. Completely understand because of the cats. Um, Sherry did lose one of her her kit kitties uh, in between the time we see saw each other. So um, I feel bad for her about that. She's going through a tough time. Anytime we lose a pet, it's very difficult. Um, but she does still have one and she um, worries about you know how cats like to scratch so she doesn't want to give them the opportunity to tear anything up and then um i also you know wanted to introduce a chair of some sort in her room and again she was worried about that so that may be something that her and glenn themselves can hunt for um themselves and bring into the room you know and um it, it would be a fun item to to look for and hunt for them so like I said, she has a lot of really cool things, you know, her little collections, her jewelry box, which, like I said, reminded me of my mom. My mom was a ballerina and um, she she danced, she taught ballet when she came to this country from Europe um, in the beginning. So anytime I see a ballerina, I think of my mom. <laughs> so um, that was really cool to see. But, you know, she has a really good eye for all these little things. So very cool to um, do this. Um, now let me go ahead and show you the board I put together. I created this on Canva. Anybody could do this. Um, so I'm trying to introduce color into her room while staying neutral because if you paid attention, you heard Cherry say that she loves a neutral room. She likes a neutral bed. She wants it to feel you know, luxurious, and she wants to be able to just uh, sleep in in the morning um, and have her bed just really wrap her in comfort. Um, but she also likes those er uh, those more, I don't know, I want to say earthy tones, but more vibrant colors. Um, so it was really tricky. I'm trying to figure out how to add those into the room. So what I did here was I added color with the wood nightstands staying warm and the lamps um, bring in that emerald green or that green color um, that you'd find in the Mexican pottery. Um, and then a really soothing art work I put at the top. I don't know what she ordered. I don't know if she ordered this exact one. I think I sent her a link to it, I'm not sure. Um, but I do know that she ordered art, so I'm super excited to see what comes in. Um, but just pulling all of the colors from the bed and the nightstands into the artwork above the bed just kind of ties the whole thing in together. And then because she doesn't want curtains, I thought about uh, wood valance over each of the windows just to give the windows character. Um, but not interfering with owning a cat. <laughs> so she can have a little bit of warmth and it could be in the wood tone. I told her it could be in the white, whatever color she chooses. But I thought that that was a really cool thing to do. And you absolutely can buy these on Amazon. So if you're interested, just search wood balance on Amazon and they will come up. So I thought that was a really great option to warm her windows up. I did not add a chair, as you can see, because that was something she was totally against. Um, she also has a couple of pieces um, that she already owned that are going to go in the room. But this is basically my idea. This is what I walked away with. Um, of course, greenery, a plant. Um, again, not really sure um, how she feels about that with pets. 
but you know we can always do a faux plant and um, you know we don't have to worry about that but I think greenery in every room is super necessary so um, just kind of threw that in there because that could be placed in a corner or next to um, you know a table or something like that just to add a little bit of life into the room because I think every room needs a little bit of greenery to add life so we did that. Now, I do believe she ordered the bed skirt, but she said it came in. Uh, the, it didn't come in the color that it was showing on Amazon, which is pretty typical. She returned that. Um, but yeah, this is basically what I came up with, and she approved it. I sent her all the links. She ordered what she could and what she wanted, and now we get to pull the room together. So I am so excited. Um, to do that. I hope that you guys are excited as well. We will um, pick this video up part two in the next video. You guys will see um, how it all came together. I hope you guys are excited. I know I am. And um, thanks for staying till the end, guys. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.